Hello, best friend! Oh, am Listen, we need to talk. If you are new to my channel, my name is Sebastian. Me and my knockoff Louis Vuitton hat welcome you with open arms. Listen, I spill pop culture tea every single day. So if you're looking for a new messy best friend you have found me, make sure you hit that subscribe button, grab a snack and a drink, girl, because we got to talk. So listen, breaking tea. Raquel Levi's, Levy's, whatever the fuck her last name, Bambi, I'd, she just issued an apology. And girl, people are not taking it very, very good, okay? So let's read the apology and then let's talk about everything that came after the apology. So um, it starts off with, I want to apologize for my actions and my choices to Ariana, my friends and the facts. Oh, and the fans so invested in our relationships. There is no excuse. I'm not a victim and I must own my actions. I deeply regret hurting Ariana. You see, I would have stopped there. <laughs> I, that right there, I think was perfect. Point blank period. But of course, it goes on and says, In the time since this came to light, I am reflecting on my choices, speaking to a counselor, and I'm learning things about myself, such as my patterns of codependency and addiction to being and feeling loved. I have sought emotional validation through intimate connections that are not healthy without regard for my own well-being, sometimes negatively affecting others and often prioritizing the intimate connection over my friendships. I am taking steps to understand the, my behavior and make healthier choices. Although I chose to be on a reality show, accepting the good and bad that comes with it, beyond my, my own actions, I have been physically assaulted, lost friendships, received death threats, and hate emails in, addi in addition to having my own privacy violated. Um, I have begun canceling to end my unhealthy behavioral cycle, learn to set stronger emotional boundaries, and learn to protect my mental health. I don't expect sympathy, understanding, or forgiveness right now. I must focus on my own health and well-being. And as I strive to be a better person, move forward, I will prioritize my mental health and learn from my mistakes. You know, if for me, this 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 apology is just like, it's all about me, 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 me. Ariana's piece was like this, and then the rest was like this. What happened to me, how I'm handling it, how I'm going to be better about it. Like, listen. I think it's very, it's when you mess up in life, I think it's amazing that you are humble enough to apologize, to take accountability and to take responsibility, right? And listen, we are all human. We make mistakes, sometimes very bad mistakes, sometimes medium mistakes. But the important thing is that we realize that we have it in us to be humble and to ask for forgiveness, right? But this, uh, this, Sorry, apology. I don't know who thought that was a good idea because it literally only talks about herself and what was done to her after this. How is she going to talk about losing? Fr of course, she's losing friendships, man. Of course, you know, the only thing that I don't agree in is when is the physical altercation like that. I don't agree with. I don't agree that anyone should take it to that level. I think every everything can be dealt with with words. Um, and that's it, you know, so I don't condone that whatsoever. And I don't agree that that happened. I don't care how mad Sheena was. I don't care how good of a friend Ariana is. You don't get physical. I, of course, you know, was like, damn, you know, but I don't, I don't agree with that at all. Um, having said that, you know, her talking about her, her getting help, her healing, her losses, her you know, hate that she's getting, it just honestly feels so me, me, me. And, and it makes it hard for me to be like, oh my God, that was such a sincere apology. Her, the first part where she just owned up and, and asked for forgiveness for Ariana, that was it. And, you know, as much as I, I, I think mental health is a very important topic, unfortunately, nobody cares about her mental health in this very moment, which, yes, at the end of the day is also wrong because, yes, we are entertained by this group. We are entertained by this show. But at the end of the day, you know, these are human beings as well. And, you know, I don't know about you, but I wish everyone well, even people who have done me wrong. Right. So having said all of that, you know, I think that this apology is bullshit. <laughs> you know, to be quite frank with you, I, I think it's 
it's such bullshit. I think it's so, it's so self-indulgent and it's so, ooh, I never used that word before, bitch. Um, it, you know, and it just, it just sucks because, you know, she thinks the fans, like it just honestly feels so, it feels so wrong. And, and I don't know what kind of PR group she hired, but damn, they did her fucking dirty, bitch. Uh, they're probably on Lala Kent's, you know, payroll because like they did her dirty with this apology. I don't know how, in what way, in what manner they thought this was a good idea. It, it, it sucks as an apology. It truly sucks. And, and, and to be very, very honest, it's garbage. I mean, I feel like Raquel, you know, listen, mental health is very important to talk about. A lot of us go through a lot of things, you know, literally 20 minutes before this, I had like a little breakdown, you know, we all have our things that we are going through. And we, 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 you know, we, we kind of, um, uh, glamorize it you know me fake louis vuitton you know bucket hat and this cute shirt from forever 21 we, we and you know we we kind of hide it be, we hide behind this but you know inside you know i i do believe we're all fucked up right and raquel's also very fucked up and and i just feel like you know yes mental health is important but you know what what she did was very wrong what tom did was very wrong and i just feel like it's all about them you know in the first apology of tom it was all about his restaurant and how you you know it shouldn't affect his workers and in the in the second apology after he got bombarded by people saying are you literally not going to apologize to Ariana? Then it was about Ariana. And then in Raquel's, she waited, you know, all these days for that. You don't wait days. You know, you don't wait days. If you did something like this to a friend, you don't wait days. And I don't, I, and that just honestly goes to show where your mind is at, where, you know, the first thing you did was, you know, you got help for yourself, for your healing. But, you know, in order to make things right, and, and and to heal, you got to make things right. And you got to fix things that you have fucked up, in my opinion, you know. So I, I honestly, I was very uh, looking forward for this, uh, you know, looking forward for this apology, even though it has nothing to do with us. You know, this apology should have gone straight to Ariana and period, because quite frankly, you know, the only one who is hurt here is Ariana. I mean, the fans can get over it. You know what I mean? It's just a fucking show. Um, and obviously it's disappointing, but, you know, the only victim, in my opinion here, is Ariana. And, you know, a lot of people are pointing out Ariana's past mistakes and stuff. But, you know, I don't think you can ever, ever uh, compare what Tom Sandoval did to Ariana. Um, so, you know, I honestly feel really disappointed Raquel even more. Um, and I think that Ariana and Katie and, and Kristen and Lala are going to destroy this apology. And at the end of the day, you know, I do wish Raquel healing. I wish her, um, you know, I wish her, I wish that she can find some self love and maybe some dignity, um, and some self power. You know, I think, um, I think, you know, she has it in her to be a good person because I believe everyone has it in them to be a good person. But I just believe that we all have a choice and we all choose whether or not we are going to, you know, manifest the good or we're going to manifest the bad, you know. Um, normally, I like to joke around a lot and, and be messy and fun. But like, this is just so disappointing. And I honestly just think it's so it's so cheap. It's such a cheap apology. It actually got me in a really bad mood. Um <laughs> And, you know, I don't know, you guys, it, for me, it's just embarrassing, especially hearing that she got like this top notch, like PR firm to like support her. I really think they did her so fucking dirty. But anyways, what do you guys think of the apology? What do you think that uh, Ariana, Katie, Kristen, all of these people, Lala are going to say? Um, you know, she now did, of course, confess. Or she she talked about the altercation. So it is true about Sheena allegedly, you know, physically harming Raquel. Um, uh, she did... Um, put a temporary restraining order. Um, but people are saying that the only reason she did that was because the reunion is gonna be filmed like in a week or two or three. Um, so that way she she will be able to miss it without, you know, uh, like having, you know, without like, uh, you know, she has like a huge legal excuse why she has to miss it. So it, like she won't get, you know, penalized. But I, I honestly, in my, in my heart of heart, um, hearing that Tom and her uh, are in love and, you know, they want to give it a try. I think that, um, you know, to be honest, I, I think that the only thing that they care about is themselves. And I really, truly think that they found each other because uh, Tom is up his own ass. Like it's nobody's business. I mean, he's playing rock star 
singing karaoke you know he I, I, I am you know it's all about him shaving his forehead and it, you know he's so uh, materialistic and so you know um, it's all about the physical aspect of everything and uh, I believe that you know Raquel's the same so I think they found each other I think Ariana just has to find a real man that's just what I think anyways what do you guys think let me know in the comments I love to hear from you guys thank you so much for watching I'll see you guys in my next video Mwah. bye